Hi, um, my name is Santa Wangate Mwangi and I'd like to tell you how I got into my dream university which is Harvard University. So the application process for me started the last week of August so I took um, SAT classes for six weeks and I started for the SAT in October 2019. I got a score of 1510 out of 1600 which was pretty good. It was in the 99th percentile. Then I did my mathematics level 2 and physics tests which I got 800 out of 800 and 790 out of 800 respectively. And after that I applied to my first university which was Princeton in November which I did get in early then I applied to the other 13 universities in December then I did a couple of interviews throughout January and February and finally end of March is when I got my acceptance letters how did you feel when you got the acceptance letters um I felt like elated like joy like my heart was bursting I actually filmed them and I put out a YouTube video about my reactions. So I was like jumping, screaming. There's one I actually threw my phone at like one of my sisters. So I was like super excited. Caltech only accepts like one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's me! Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I got accepted. Congratulations! It's loading. <laughs> did I just get into Harvard? Sis, so, did I get into Harvard? Sandy just got into Harvard. I just go to America because I wanted the challenge of being among the best minds in the world. Because um, they're saying that, you know, tell, show me your five friends and I'll show you who you are. That's okay. I believe in it to some extent. So being in an environment that kind of forces you and encourages you to be the best you can be because I'm sure at Harvard I've actually spoken to people currently who are millionaires and owners of companies at like 19 which is mind-blowing so it also makes me think what do I want to do how can I impact um, my community or what can I do for myself so I wanted the challenge I like challenging myself a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, I worked with the AFEX throughout my application process. I did SAT classes here so they helped me study for math and the English part especially because that's not my forte. Then after the SAT they helped me to do my essays so we would, I would help, the t teachers here would help me um, edit my essays and eventually helped me package myself and work on financial aid applications. So my advice would be research, research, research. I think knowledge is power, definitely 100%. Knowing where to apply, how to apply, when to apply is very important and people underestimate the power of knowing all these things. It's possible. It's definitely possible. People have made it and one thing that I'm very passionate about is normal people making it because what we see a lot of times is like people who are from drugs to riches. I don't qualify myself as a parent person who is living in poverty, I'm a middle class family, I live in a middle class family. So knowing how to make yourself valuable to these universities is what is important and you are valuable. Definitely everyone is valuable, you just have to know the right thing to say and how to say it and who to say it to.